look at this amazing vibrant orange color guys in today's video i'm gonna share with you a super delicious recipe for a homemade creamy pumpkin jam for today's video, you're gonna need one kilogram of pumpkin flesh and one kilogram of sugar combined with gelatin. Let's get started. You're gonna start by cutting your pumpkin into small pieces. For that, you're gonna cut the edges so that it's not slipping. And then you can easily cut it into half and get rid of the seeds with a spoon. We don't want to waste food, so just keep those seeds in salt water, wash them and then bake them at 180 degrees for like 20 minutes with a little bit of salt and voila, you have delicious snacks for the evening. Once your pumpkin is clean from the inside, you are going to cut it into small squares. Make sure they are evenly cut it because that's important when we cook the pumpkin. Very nice, that looks amazing. Now it's time to wash the pumpkin and then rinse it and put it into our pot. Put your stove on medium heat. Now it's time to add two cups of water into your pumpkin and let it cook for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're gonna check your pumpkin and see if everything is cooking. And then we're just gonna leave the lid open and let the water just evaporate. Once this is done, we're gonna add our pumpkin into a big bowl, weigh it, and then add the sugar, one to one. So if you have like just 600 grams of pumpkin now, we're gonna add 600 grams of sugar. Then we're gonna add it back into the pot and cook it again. Let's do it. Very nice. Just add everything back into the pot on medium heat. Stir it well and let it cook for about another five to 10 minutes. the sugar is dissolved we just gonna mix everything well together till we cannot see any piece left and we have a smooth and nice texture you are done you made your own pumpkin jam now it's time to fill up our jars with the delicious jam and let it cool down just fill it up, make sure your glasses are very, very clean. Otherwise, once you close the lid, just put the glasses upside down so that you kinda get rid of some sort of bacteria that might be in the upper area. But if your glasses are very clean, then you just close the lid good and then let the jam cool down. Guys, this jam is amazing. You can use it for breakfast, you can use it for your muffins, for cake fillings. It's really delicious and creamy. Just try it out and leave me a comment down below. I'm more than curious to know how it was. I personally love this jam on top of my protein rolls with cream cheese. Hey guys, have you ever made protein rolls at home? I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box. Follow it, make it, and enjoy it. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to hit the like button, to subscribe, and come back next Friday because I'm gonna upload another delicious recipe video. Bye! Isn't it wonderful that we all have more than enough food on our plates every day? Yes, it is. 
But unfortunately, this is not the truth for many kids on this planet. But together, we can make a difference. For less than 70 cents a day, you can share three meals a day. I'm going to leave a link down below so that you can share a meal a day. Thank you so much.